Let's do some physics for the fun of it. Here is Einstein's famous equation E is equal to mc squared. In the theory of relativity you just get an additional gamma factor which is just equal to 1 over the square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared. Something really interesting happens if the speed is greater than the speed of light. For instance if v is equal to let's say 5c, we're going to get mc squared divided by the square root of 1 minus 5c squared divided by c squared. We can cancel out the factors of c squared, which is going to leave us just with mc squared of the square root of 1 minus 25. We can separate this into mc squared divided by the square root of minus 1 multiplied by the square root of 24. If you're new to imaginary numbers, the square root of minus 1 is actually just defined as i. So what we would get is e is equal to mc squared divided by 24 times i. This creates a problem. The energy needs to be a real observable quantity. But hang on a minute, we could still theoretically make this energy to be real. All we would need to do is to have an imaginary mass. For instance, let's imagine that the mass is 5i. Wait, what would the unit be? Imaginary kilograms? If that is the case, we would have a factor of 5i c squared divided by i root 24. The i's will of course cancel, leaving us with a real number for the energy. At the moment, such particles with an imaginary mass are just a mathematical curiosity and many physicists actually believe that they signify a problem, an inconsistency within the theory itself. Those particles are called tachyons. However, even if they probably do not exist, they're really, really fun to think about. If the mass is imaginary and we need to keep the energy to be real, this means that the denominator of the fraction needs to be imaginary. This only occurs if the ratio of v squared over c squared is actually greater than 1 and we're traveling faster than the speed of light. This has the incredibly bizarre consequence that if you are traveling faster than the speed of light and your speed increases, your rest energy will be decreasing. So the faster you go, the less energy you have. Now imaginary numbers, which started off just as a pure mathematical curiosity, are actually an incredibly important part in physics. And check out my recent collaboration with the amazing mathematician Dr. Payam, in which I discuss the role of imaginary numbers in nature,